Evolution never stops, and while humans might be surprised to hear this, it hasn't stopped with us either. Every shift in an environment can give rise to adaptive changes that can be positive or negative. And in the case of modern humans, well, let's just say there's no good case for optimism. We humans are getting dumber, weaker, and smaller. And to let you know just how bad the situation is, we bring you five ways you are becoming dumber and weaker. We might all marvel at the feats of incredible athletes such as Michael Jordan or Usain Bolt, but according to scientists, the best athletes of our age would pale in comparison to human specimens of an earlier age. Examining the skeletons of normal people, such as farmers and fishers over a span of over 6,000 years, and comparing them to people's skeletons today has revealed some rather startling discoveries to scientists. For example, the leg bones of a farmer from 5,300 BCE were just as good, if not better, than the most highly trained cross-country runners of today. We often portray our ancient ancestors as short, squat, and weak, but the opposite is true, and modernity is just not the sort of environment to promote athletic and physical competence. Despite the ubiquitous portrayal of ancient humans as runty and slumped over, and modern humans as much taller, the opposite is true. In fact, recent data extracted from the human genome has shown that modern humans are, on average, 10% shorter than our ancient ancestors. Of course, this should be qualified. Most of the degeneration we are experiencing has arisen in the last 10,000 years and has gotten progressively worse. So when we speak of modern humans, we mean the general trend from that time onwards. Of course, in the current year, things are probably worse than ever. And who knows, in a few centuries, we might all be dwarves. But hey, at least Gimli would be proud. Now at face value, this might seem strange because our ancestors did not live as long as we do in modern times. But this view would be deceptive. Modern longevity is not the product of greater health in humans, but rather of greater medical technology that did not exist thousands of years ago. In all the examinations of our ancestors, astonishingly few had any heart or coronary problems. Diabetes did not exist for them, and cancer was incredibly rare. Many met their deaths through violence or deprivation of food or water, but in actuality, they were more robust, healthier, resistant, and tougher when compared to modern humans in a similar age bracket. The truth is that civilization has made us weak, soft, and merely living longer isn't a sign of health. And it all seems largely irreversible since civilization seems here to stay. While many of us like to believe our big brains make us smarter than other animals, our brains have actually been shrinking over the last 30,000 years. The average volume of the human brain has decreased from 1,500 cubic centimeters to 1,350 cubic centimeters, which is equivalent to a chunk the size of a tennis ball. There are a few reasons for this, and many scientists believe the fact that our brains are getting smaller means in fact we're getting dumber. Historically, brain size decreased as societies became larger and more complex, suggesting that the safety net of modern society negated the correlation between intelligence and survival. This is a classic illustration of maladaptation, where the comfortable environment of modernity negates the need for challenge and thus stymies the growth of the brain because we are no longer challenged by our environment as we were in the past. As with other problems mentioned, there does not seem to be a solution in sight unless we want to return to the caves, something most people would probably not want to do. Scientists have become increasingly worried that the rate of harmful mutations in the gene pool has increased in modern times. Each of us carries hundreds of mutations in our genomes, most of which are deleterious, and the occurrence of these mutations has been on the uptick. The current state of science suggests that the human mutation rate is close to 300 per human and will only increase with each successive generation. And perhaps what is most sinister is that no one knows what these mutations will do other than them being harmful to us. This is sometimes referred to as genetic entropy and seems to be a product of the modern circumstances of human civilization, which is not going away anytime soon. 
We can only hope that this problem, along with others mentioned, can be overcome through knowledge and technology. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our other lists. And thanks for watching, and thanks for learning.